Hello guys, welcome back to another idle game tutorial. This is episode 8, uh, part of the idle game tutorial series. Today we're going to be doing Bimax. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, so basically, uh, the problem with our upgrades is that um, we're at the point where we can buy... We're at the point where we can buy lots of upgrades. Um, and a lot of us don't want to click that much, right? Um, so last episode we did progress bars, if you didn't see. Which is neat. Um, so anyways, uh, we should really add some buy max uh, buttons so we can, you know, prevent having to click a hundred times. So this is more of a kind of a just like, like a here you go, this is how you do it kind of a thing rather than like a deep explanation because I'm not very good at explaining math. Uh, just <laughs> simple as that. And the math equations of all involved with this, I did not, I did not come up with them. I used, uh, I used congregate for that. So for those who want to say, uh, you need to, you need, you should cite them on this. Um, yeah, this is the site I looked off of. It's really good. It explains lots of math stuff. I basically use these equations. This one calculates the the max cost this is how many you can buy and the math equation we'll be using and we have been using is this one right here so it's blog.congregate.com uh, you can just search up the math of idle games part one congregate i'm sure you'll find it um anyways uh let's get on with the bimax so first we need to create a button so we're going to do copy and paste this click buy or just click upgrade one we're going to call it click upgrade one max. All right, so this is a simple buy max, and we can calculate the count. So we'll do that. So that's how many we're going to buy. The cost isn't real, the display cost really isn't that important since we know how many coins we already have. So therefore, we only need the how many we're going to buy. All right, we'll just put that there. You can put it wherever you want. I'm sure your user interface looks different than mine. Uh, anyways, uh, let's get into the code. Um, we don't need to create any variables here. Basically, all of our upgrade stuff is ready. We just need to create a method. So we're going to go all the way to the bottom. We're gonna do, actually, we're going to go under the by click upgrade one. So we're going to call this public void by click upgrade one max. So we just created a new method, and um, so there's two ways you can do this. Here's the really inefficient way. Change this if statement to a while loop. Now, if you just want to end the tutorial with this, sure, go ahead. You can do that right now. But if you want something a lot safer, then I would continue. Basically, this while loop is only good for if you need to buy a few hundred upgrades, if you have to buy thousands to 10,000 stuff, this is highly, highly not recommended because it will just freeze your game until it's done processing all 10,000s and etc. runs. So this is good for buying like small upgrades. It's really, it's really easy, but I'm going to keep this to the side just so you guys can use it. I'll label it as not safe. All right, so this is the not safe. And this will be the uh, safe one. And this one's complicated enough for me to not understand how to explain it. So I'll do my best. So I'm going to copy and paste my buy max method from my game. There you go. That's it. This is all it. Except we need to change lots of things. So basically, every time we buy an upgrade, we multiply the cost by 1.07. We have two formulas right here. The cost is how many times it can upgrade from the current cost and level. So basically, it's got to calculate how many times it can multiply 1.07 and before you can't buy anymore. Um, all right, so this is our base cost for us it would be 
Um, whatever we set it to. Click upgrade cost one. It's ten. It'd be ten. So let's change that to ten real quick. Var C. So this is our currency for us. It's coins. And R is our multiplier. Ours is 1.07. We're going to change it to that. And K is basically the stuff we're buying. So instead of drones right here, we're basically going to do click upgrade one level. Because we're basically, cal we're trying to, the K, we're trying to find like how many we already have, which is what this formula tries to calculate. So we have a bunch of big doubles here. Um, since we're doing doubles, just do system.math. Replace all the big doubles. There you go. So now we have our equations done. Again, var n. This basically calculates how many you can buy, which is which is really useful for um, right, this right here. And um, you know what? For this, we're gonna we're gonna do we're gonna do public double because we're gonna return our n. Actually, no, we don't want to do that. Never mind. Ignore what I said. And the cost basically just calculates how many, um, how much the total cost will be. All right. So then we have our if statements, which is easy. You just get the click upgrade one frick cost. And we want to check to see if it's greater or equal than the cost. And we are adding to our level, not drones, which is the plus n right here. Um, cannot, oh, shoot, this is an int. I forgot. You got to cast this as an int, since this is, uh, our level's an int. Which is why I recommend using all doubles in the first place, because you don't have to do any casting. And our coins will be subtracted from the cost, just like our normal upgrade. And... Um, let's see, we need a, we need to add to our click value plus equals n. We don't need to cast this since uh, click value is a double. And that should be it. Um, it looks complicated, but you really don't need to know what the math is in order to use this, I promise. Um, we could simplify some of these parentheses to make it look cleaner. And yeah, that's pretty much it. So we're going to be using this one. Uh, yeah. So basically to get this text right here, we're going to make a new one. So I I did. I did need to make something right here. I forgot. So that's the last episode eight. We're going to make a new text. We're going to do click upgrade. No. Okay. Um max text and this one's easy because we just need to update it with the rest of our stuff episode eight so the text is simply going to be by space max parentheses plus parentheses and in between this semicolon we are going to have our a uh, little equation right here. So we're gonna have to um, copy all this, but what I would recommend is um, to make a new method. So basically what we can do is public double by click upgrade one max count. So basically this will give us how many. We just need to copy this. All right, and we need to return in. There you go. So now we just need to add this to the text. We add this method, which this literally will just return as a number because it's a, a double method. So this should work. Let's save it. Okay, so now we have to change our method at the button, which is the buy click upgrade one. You want to go to add a game tutorial. I will tutorial game and change to the max. And we added a text, so let's drag it to our game manager.
screwed. Anyways, save it again like usual. You should always save really often because it can it can bite you in the future. Trust me, it's done a many times. Anyways, let's run it. So right now we can't buy any right now. So we're clicking away, we're not getting anything. So let's prestige, get ourselves some gems to make this go by faster. So here's a good example to use the this right here. So see how this is adding up right now? So I can do buy max and it buys seven upgrades. Oh, I forgot one thing. Sorry. <laughs> we got forgot something very important. If we're going to change the cost base on this right here, we're going to have to do it here too. So this is easy. Um, it should be. So we have our little equation here. We are going to... Uh, the cost is not going to be a constant variable anymore. This is all right. So we're going to change. We're going to make our own variable called cost. And remember, we need our system dot math. Um, our base cost is going to be ten, and we're multiplying it by one point oh seven, like we did here. So now it should work. Oh, of course we forgot our click upgrade level. There you go. So now you can copy this equation to get the cost. Where is the cost? Right here. All right. So we're going to copy and paste this under the click upgrade one cost string. We're going to call this the click. Up. So since we have this new variable right here, we can honestly just get rid of uh, this right here. Why? Because our cost is fully dependent on other variables and like i said in the save mode episode we don't need to save stuff that's high, that's dependent on others so therefore we can delete this i'm keeping the rest since i don't want to change all of them but just so you know that you can delete these and we can remove this one right here too all right we're good to go uh we can move from our prestige okay we need to move this outside of the if statements so then we can do cost and this is easy to read too. And this should be cost right here. So if that was really quick, basically I just fixed some of the variables that didn't match. And we have one more right here. So make sure you have nothing related to that upgrade. And you only have this. So now the upgrade uh, cost should update properly. It looks like you already saved. Okay, that was freaky fast. All right, here you go. So now our, okay, why is this not working? Did it not save? I have a strong feeling it didn't save. Yeah, it didn't. Okay, nice Unity, you're really cool. There you go, now it's updating. So now if we buy one here, it updates the cost. If we buy some here, it updates the cost. Which is awesome. So now we can buy five, it adds five, and it subtracts it all properly. So yeah, um, I'll leave it on the code for you guys to look at since this buy max is, you know, pretty weird, whack with math. But anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Um, next episode will be, um maybe advanced save and load it's either that or good ui practices because i feel like that's a lot of tutorial i've never seen a tutorial on good ui practices other than um uh just generic good ui practices but this one would be good for just like idle games in general so yep thank you guys for watching make sure you subscribe and hit that bell to get notified of the next episode hope you enjoy it thanks for watching and i've said that a million times peace yeah 
Got me in this party all up in a zone. Hot as Betty's trying to take away my cell phone. Like, come and party. I've been trying to shake you off my mind, but just can't get you off me. Keep it moving. They ain't worth it. Yeah, that's what my father taught me. But for now, I'm going through the motions of letting go. Because my mind's telling me yes, but my heart really don't know. Your heart went dark out of nowhere, yet I still see a glow. So we had the hottest love. Why'd you leave me in the cold?